everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to be doing my July TBR. Now, my July TBR kind of exploded because I kind of forgot about some books that I had already planned on reading, and I would planned some others. My June TBR was kind of over, was taken over, was held hostage, um, because I DNF'd something, and then it kind of just went off the rails. And so a lot of the books that I'd planned to read in June, I'm still planning to read in July because I had actually started them, I just haven't finished them. So hopefully I can actually do this because half of them, okay not half, a couple of them are already like halfway done. So Tome Topple Readathon is happening, which I planned on doing this year because I've never done it before and I do have a lot of big books I want to read. Completely forgot about it, it started on the 29th of June and it goes, and it goes until the 12th of July. So, the book I plan on reading for that is Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. I've had this book for a really long time. I had actually started reading it a while ago. As you can kind of see, I have a dog-eared page. It's like 200 pages in. I'm going to start over because I don't remember anything that I had read. Um, and I'd like to get back into fantasy, I haven't been reading as much, and I've just been starting to feel in the mood, so I'm hoping this would be a good gateway back into all my fantasy books. So another book I plan on reading for the month of July is The Smoke Gets In Your Eyes by Caitlin Doty. I actually have already started this, I'm about halfway through, um, a little less, maybe a little more, I'm a little more. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. And so I hope to be able to finish it and hopefully it won't kind of kill me because hopefully I will because I have like seven books on my TBR and I've never read seven books in a month. So it will be a feat of epic proportions if I'm able to do this. Another book I started in June but kind of set aside um, or didn't get around to finishing was Let's Talk About Love by Claire, by Claire Kahn. I, the book I DNF'd in June um, led me to a book that was kind of really light and fluffy-ish and so is this and since that was an audiobook and then this one so it was just kind of like I had to choose one and since that one was audiobook and this one was physical copy that one was a bit easier for me to continue doing so I could because I could read it or listen to it to and from work but I'm hoping to get back to this I was really enjoying it um, and I hopefully will do a review or at least something when I finish this. Another book I started in June but did not finish was Honestly Ben. It is the second book by Bill Koningsberg. Uh, he also did Openly Straight, which I listened to. I'm actually listening to Honestly Ben. I'm really enjoying it. I'm two-thirds of the way through, so hopefully I will get around to finishing that as well. Now, a book that came to my attention in June that I just had to pick up right away and desperately wanted to read is Running With Lions by Julian Winters. Um, Adriana over at Perpetual Pages talked about this. They're the only reason I picked this up is they brought it to my attention. It's kind of like, let me see how they described it. A sports anime with actual queer, queer characters, um, which uh, I'm here for. I'm absolutely, sports animes are weirdly enough one of my favorite things ever and since they're all about like camaraderie and like brotherly love, I mean, the fact that some of these characters are openly queer and accepting about that is everything I could have ever asked for and I cannot wait to read this. I've actually already read like the first chapter and a half because Amazon has like that chapter or like let's look in it or whatever it's called where you can kind of read the beginning parts and yes, <laughs> yes. One of the books um, I started also in June, I should have done this one earlier, was To Drink From the Silver Cup by Anne Redsand. I was reading this for my book club. My book club was yesterday. If it goes up on Monday, it was on Sunday. I did not finish it. I am really enjoying it, but it is a really like heavy read, so I don't know if I'll be able to continue it. I might have to just kind of pick away at it. Um, it's a really interesting take on a queer woman or lesbian who loses connection with her faith and kind of refines it. And I think that's kind of a really interesting 
it's not a premise because it's actually her like autobiography in a way but it's not like completely autobiographical so it is definitely an interesting read it's just very rough like not writing wise just like emotionally rough and the last book I plan to read is also for my book club I'm actually gonna do it on audiobook because the member who recommended it said it's awesome on audiobook it is called The Utterly Uninteresting and Unadventurous Tales of Fred the Vampire Accountant. It sounds really interesting. I don't know anything about it, just that she recommended it and loved it. So I will let you know what I think. Well, those are my... That is my TBR for July. It is a huge undertaking for me. I've been averaging about three, two to three books a month. So seven is kind of terrifying. Um, I will let you know how that goes, and until the next video, ta-ta for now! I lied. There is eight books I'm gonna try to read in the month of July. I forgot one. Um, this is The Squire's Tale by Gerald Morris. I don't know anything about this, except for one of my coworkers recommended it. We have a lot of the same taste in books, so I'm kind of really interested in it. I just kind of forgot it was there. So, eight.